I still sorry for the noise. Uh, okay, we have this sentence right here. And first thing we need to do is we need to separate this sentence into smaller constituent. As we have learned earlier that this is a sentence. Why it is a sentence is because you can identify the constituent. You have the noun phrase and you have the verb phrase right here. So the noun phrase is the can. And the verb phrase is jump over the chair. Alright, since you have identified that, perhaps you can make this in smaller chunk. And what you can have on the plan, you can identify here the is the detriment. this one. So we have the word jumped over the and chair. So what do we need to do? We need to identify what's the constituent of this. Jump is true. It's a verb and over this prepositions and there is detrimental an article you can use that one. And chair is is not. Now as you have Identify all of this. Next thing we need to create the tree. So let's create a tree. This is a sentence, right? So you have the sentence the cat jumped over the chair and has two main components or main constituents, one phrase and a verb phrase, and then you have the smaller uh, constituents of each of these one phrase and verb phrase. Alright, so start your syntax tree editor. And first of all, you need to start from this point right You need to label S as sentence. And as you can see, here we have the non phrase. And next thing what you need to do is to put lexical item. Oh, sorry, it's not lexical item, but you need to create a smaller uh, constituent or the sub constituent of this. So you need to make two nodes and click insert child right here. And then you need to name them exactly non phrase and verb phrase. Right. And next thing, as you have identified the constituent of the non phrase, next you need to put what is the constituent of the non phrase? You have two constituents, right? Sorry about that. Uh, and a noun. Alright, so we need to put. Other two childs right here. Yeah, let's put it in there. And now. And then what is the data? Does it, does it have like any smaller constituent? No. So you have the lexis. This is the lexicon. So put data the and the now is can. And then the same applies to verb phrase right here. So you have a verb phrase. So you have the verb phrase. This is the whole verb phrase. So this is the verb, and this is the other sub constituent of it. Alright, so create two uh, constituent of this verb phrase. The first is the verb. Yeah, and the verb is jump. This one is three points over the chair. This is it's a smaller constituent, All right? It's a preposition of phrase. Okay, and you have the preposition. And a non phrase. How do you know it's a non phrase? The chair. 
All right. So you have the preposition, yeah, which is uh, the lexical item is over, and this one is another noun phrase has two constituent. First is the determiner, which is the, and another one is another noun which is chair. There you go. That's your sentence. It's very easy. Remember, every single time that you make this, you need to copy this and uh, paste it in your uh, Microsoft Doc document. So whenever you want to uh, add it, so you can just put that. I will show you. All right, so, oops, sorry. There you go, that's the code. Do not alter, do not change, do not add, do not remove the space. This is code, it needs to be left uh, like that. So, whenever, as an example, whenever you want to, uh, let's say, like you didn't save this, and you want to, uh, tree here your tree so you just copy the whole set of codes and then you need to go to file and import from bracket okay and then paste it here the code yeah and then you click okay yeah all right thank you very much